Hello, Happy New Year, and welcome to Jim's Workshop. Today I would like to give you a small tour of my Unimat SL Mini Machine Shop. We'll start out with this one. This is a Unimat SL set up with a power feed uh, it's currently got a three-jaw self-centering chuck on it, a live center in the tail stock. Uh, it's set up with the slow speed attachment, which gives you an extra set of pulleys to use to uh, change the speed of the machine. Next one up is the standard Unimat SL with pretty much the standard equipment. This one has a four jaw independent chuck on it. Uh, Unimat or an ENCO, EMCO drill chuck on the tailstock. Uh, it's set up at the conventional drive Third one here is set up as a milling machine. Uh, so this one has the milling table, a little milling vise on it. Uh, tailstock's not really being used, but it's got a Unimat dead center in the tailstock. Uh, this one's set up just with conventional drive system. Some of my Unimat accessories shown here. First of all, for cutting tools, I have a Edistall cutting tool system, which uses inserts for the cutting tools and boring bar. I've got a couple of sets of original Emco Unimat pre-ground tool bits. Uh, a couple sets of carbide tool bits here that I can use. And also a brand new old stock Sears Craftsman quarter inch pre-ground tool bit set. Another drill chuck. Couple of tool holders for the uh, cross feed. Standard one and there's a little lantern tool post set up for the un Unimat. Uh, this is a chuck adapter that would go the, on the back of a three-jaw chuck. Um, it's off right now because I've got my other three-jaw chuck mounted to another accessory that we'll see in a little bit. There's a couple of M10 by or M12 by 1.0 taps I can use to make my own accessories for the headstock and tail stock. I believe this is a grinding wheel arbor, although I do not have a grinding wheel for it that fits. A little face plate and lathe dog. Another dead center here. A woodworking tool rest for using the Unimat as a wood lathe. There's a little steady rest that would go on any one of these machines. Uh, another milling table with looks like four clamps that I can use to clamp work down to the milling table. Uh, here's a little, not sure what they call it, a uh, face plate that will accept the T-slots and clamps as part of the Unimat system. This is a indexing attachment with a three-jaw chuck mounted got the jaws on this three jaw chuck set up to be outside jaws rather than inside jaws. Uh, the only the only indexing head I've got for this is a 48 division indexing head. Uh, I would like to get the other indexing heads if anybody has any spares. Send me a message and We'll work something out. Uh, I've got a whole pile of drive belts, but 
nothing that seems to work whenever you need it to. So I am going to get some uh, bond to band belting type system where I can make my own bells. I also have uh, a couple of precision mini drill presses. There's a little Cameron mini drill with uh, Albrecht Chuck. This works out very well for high speed drilling with small drill bits. I've got it mounted to a very heavy cast iron federal indicator base so it doesn't vibrate, it doesn't walk around the table when I'm trying to drill with it. Uh, next I have a Vigor optical or optical drill press I believe it was made for um, opticians and jewelers. Uh, this is another small high speed drill press similar to like a Proxon but uh, I think much better built. Uh, this is made in Japan, it's all cast iron, very heavy. Um, actually, I was surprised that the actual list price on this thing is like close to $2,000. $1,900 I believe when I saw it online. I of course didn't pay anything near that for it. But uh, it is a very nice little drill press. So I'm just going to scan around, look at some of the uh, accessories and parts again so you can freeze it and look at things in detail if you wish. In one of my future videos, I'll be using these Emco Unimat lathes to uh, machine some projects that were actually put out by American Edistall as being projects for the Unimat. Uh, one I've got is the Hudson River Paddle Steam Engine that I will be making on the Unimat lathe and mill. Another one I've got from American Edistall is the steam powered pickup truck. Uh, once again, put out by American Edistall, designed to be machined on the Unimat lathe. Uh, it's a very nice little engine designed by James Senf that powers the Tonka toy pickup truck. <laughs> 